Hi, I'm Aaron, this is Kiara, and this is our dog Wild. We're travelling around Australia in our converted bus, and this week we're visiting some more beautiful places in South Queensland and northern New South Wales. Hey, today is a good day, an exciting day, because we're finally getting out of Queensland. We're going to New South Wales. <laughs> Yay! After six months. It's been a while. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't go there because of the restriction and then I had some hospital appointments and then I had Christmas, we had Christmas and then more hospital appointments then we had to wait for mail and now we can finally go to New South Wales That's what we're doing today, uh, it's a two hour drive so wish us luck Okay, good news. We made it. We are officially in New South Wales at a little town called Mwilumba. And today... We're going to check out the Natural Bridge in the Spring... Well, Springbrook. Springbrook National Park. Apparently it's amazing from the photos at least. So yeah, we're going to check that out. And uh, ironically, it's in Queensland, so we've got to hop the border again. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's a course, so we will never get rid of Queensland. <laughs> I'm getting old. So we are basically back at the Springbrook National Park. We were here a couple of weeks ago when we were still in Queensland, but before we were in the other side of the park, on the other side of the mountain. At least we think, because it's a very big place, so we got a bit confused. And here is where we are going. Look how cool is this tree. It's a strangler fig, so there was a host tree, and a fig tree sent down proper roots over the course of a hundred years maybe the fig tree killed out the host tree and it's rotted away and you're left with that so we just read a, a plaque in this uh, walking path about subtropical rainforests such as this one they're so old they existed when the dinosaurs were around uh, and apparently there's only 0.3% of Australia's rainforest left uh, because of the settlement of European settlers and the destruction of our natural vegetation which I think is really sad uh, yeah the end oh, that's how old must this be it started off like this big and now it's on my leg this big? yeah really? Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen guys. It was so nice to be logging there, but that cave above the waterfall is a glow warm cave. So there are little tiny worms that glow in the dark. So we might come back one night to have a look. This might even be the other side of the Springbrook National Park. So this will be the top of the natural bridge, the water comes from here, down up there, and goes down there in the hole, and down there there is the bridge. See what's at Tarioga, there's a Flutterbee's Cottage Cafe. What time is it? When we get there, it'll be 12.30. On New South Wales time? Yeah. yeah. All right, then that's great. There's a gelato shop there. Cool, interesting. I think we should go there. All right. I actually had a gelato for breakfast. 
Kind of. Uh, yeah, frozen fruit. Yeah. True. Which is healthy, isn't it? Sure. It was dipped in chocolate. Wasn't much chocolate there. There was this super huge market just uh, on the showground where we were, like 20 meters from where we were parked with the bus. They had this um, uh, frozen fruit, ma frozen mango stick dipped in milk chocolate for four dollars. Oh, it was so good. You should try it. Got you. Cafe. Sorry? There's a little bees going around. Oh, that's cool. It was such a nice, cute place to have lunch. But anyway, we are going back home and we'll see you guys later. By the way, I realized that we didn't tell you where we are yet, so we are in a campsite in Mori. No, Willem Bar. Thank you. The one. I will write it down anyway. It's a beautiful, it's a showground, $25 a night, it's a beautiful spot. But anyway, we are now on our way to go see the Glowworm Cave at night. I don't know how much you guys will be able to see, but hopefully we will be able to get decent videos. I don't agree. Sure. We are starting the walk to go down to the cave. It's so dark, I can't see anything. You can literally just see where you put your feet and not even. Okay, it turns out that the light of my phone was so much better than the torch. So we're on the path. I don't know how much you guys can see, but we can't see much at all. It's really cool. You can hear the sound of the water in the background and the frogs and the wildlife. It's awesome. Here you can see it. The first few glow worms, maybe. Probably you can't see anything. It's so dark without torch, I literally can't see Aaron who is next to me. We're in the cave now. It's awesome, guys. It's beautiful. Apart from the training kit. They look like Christmas uh, lights. We are back home. <laughs> Sorry guys, but it was way too dark to shoot anything. But I will put here a photo taken by someone who is probably a much better photographer than me. <laughs> so you have an idea of where we have been and what you can expect. I just want to say it was absolutely amazing. The only downside was full of <laughs> and kids yelling and screaming and playing and adults with the flash with the camera flash and the torches when there are signs everywhere that uh, uh, lights hurt the worms so if you want to go there i would suggest to probably go i don't know at 3 a.m on a monday night and maybe you can enjoy some peace and quietness Good morning! Today the weather is not the best, but we are on our way to go to this market in Palm Spring where there is an Italian baker. I'm following on Facebook and I really want to eat everything he does. Uh, so we're going to have a look and we're trying to go to the beach if the weather stays decent. And we're back in Queensland again, which is a very good thing though, because we left quite late this morning 
but coming back in Queensland we gain one hour because Queensland doesn't change the day like savings time time zone <laughs> so we gain one hour all right we made it Ciao. I'm so glad that he wasn't sold out yet. I'm so happy, yeah. What do you think? This was so so good guys. Look him up, it's called The Romano Baker on Facebook and I think Instagram as well and come to visit him if you are around because oh, it was so good. Now let's go to have a look around. Mm. And we are finally at the beach, guys. This beach is dog heaven. It has dogs everywhere playing and swimming. That's so cool. So that was the inlet, and now we are on the real beach. We made it, guys. After four months traveling inland in Queensland, we are finally at the beach. You can see the golfers down there. We are finally at the beach. We broke the course of the Queensland, small Queensland inland town. Yep, we did. Well, we had to leave the beach because it started raining, but we want to say goodbye. We hope that you enjoyed the video. If you like some of these places, you should definitely go check them out. I highly rate them. I think they're amazing places to visit. Um, but if you did like the video and you like what we do, make sure you give it a like, a thumbs up, a share, and we'll see you in the next one.